The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of Power Trading Hour. And as always, it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And occasionally, every six months, I like to tell people that I play that so that if this is watched another time that I was acting on the available information when I said it, uh, nothing like uh, the future uh, to uh, quickly change one's opinion, uh, or you'll be broke uh, if you are a trader. You got to be able to change your mind when the market changes it. 877-927-6648. Also, you can drop a line to me via email at path at tfnn.com. That's P-A-T-H at tfnn.com. And we look forward to what you have there. So I'm fairly bearish. And I really like that nobody, well, I won't say nobody, but few think the market can go lower. Uh, just about everybody on one side of the fence. And that's generally... Doesn't mean that you're going to make money, but if you are right being on the short side, it is generally much larger than you would think. Same thing as you're going higher. If there are a lot of shorts, uh, it can generally go a lot higher until all the shorts give up. But uh, we shall see. Uh, generally, around 2 o'clock, we start getting a big decision. Uh, the S&Ps, I think, really trying to test a 4,600 area on that, on the cash anyway. Uh, NASDAQ, eh, there are a few more things going on. But let's get to the sit rep. Uh, war news continues to be bad, although uh, they put a happy face on it last couple of days. We continue to be inverted. We've gone plaid with the uh, yield curves. Uh, after the bell last night, uh, Chewy, um, well, we'll give them the... And uh, uh, pop that up real quick. C H W Y. Um, nice gap down at here. I was very interested in watching how these guys did, mostly because they had such a great low volume low and moved back into the trading range. Uh, what hasn't changed is a, a couple of things, and we'll talk about Micron next. But the supply chain uh, costs for uh, dog food, pet food of all kinds, cat food, I guess. They sell it all. Maybe they sell snake food. I know snakes eat rats, but I wonder, do they make a snake food? Never seen one. Just random ideas go through my head. Anyway, you had a fairly good, uh, nice low out here. You've gone up the cop. You gave it all, or at least 50% of that back in a day. Uh, off that bounce off in the low. Um, you never really had a lot of volume except the last round really yesterday uh, when they ran all the shorts out. And again, that's why these things, if you do disappoint, um, there's not a lot of room to get in or out. There's just going to be lower. Um, they were pretty much uh, to, to what? Uh, about 15% lower uh, for most of after hours last night. Um, yeah, 15, they're 16 percent now. So that continues on. So anybody that has or has had supply chain uh, problems may be continuing on with those. So keep a close eye on that. Uh, other stocks of interest uh, on the winter side, uh, Lululemon. Everybody's getting back to the yoga pants, apparently. So we'll give them a little... <laughs> We'll give them a winter horn here. Nice pop higher, lots of volume in this one. Uh, you only needed about two and a quarter million shares uh, to break through the previous high of February 2nd. You got that in spades. 
Uh, one of the things uh, early on that I talked to a lot of uh, well-known traders about, and uh, same thing is kind of uh, volume and what to look for it in volume. And everybody just say, well, it's more or less. But come to find out, it's a little bit more nuanced. Uh, what you're looking for is something like uh, 150, 175 percent of uh, the volume that you want to break the uh, high with. Uh, once you get past that, what you do end up getting a lot of times is a buying climax on the gap, and then you don't get any more. Generally, you can get three or four days out of a uh, nice bounce like this. Uh, if uh, the volume is more like, well, let's say what we ended today with like four and a half billion shares instead of the six billion we already have, um, then kind of on the edge, but uh, you might get just a little bit more. But generally, you want to see, you know, 150, maybe 200 percent beyond that. Uh, a little bit too much, a little bit uh, too soon. Uh, so uh, I always kind of thought of it in the three bears. Uh, too little, just right, and uh, it's way too hot. Well, this is on the not on the uh, insane side of too hot, but uh, generally that tells you uh, you may be getting everything that you wish for all in one day. Generally, when I get that kind of volume all in one day, and uh, off the bottom, uh, we you really didn't have a test of a previous low on uh, that much lighter volume. You had 1.1 million shares to 1.73 million shares. Uh, so you did get a low, and you got back into the trading range. But uh, could you get a pullback uh, back to, let's we'll say, 352-ish? I think that's very possible in this one, uh, especially since you have a double gap there. So uh, uh, I'd probably pull the ripcord if I was long that one right now and try to buy it back at 352 if at all possible. Uh, Micron was another was up uh, five percent after hours. Um, the CEO's been out and about. Uh, it was up uh, to 8624, but um, he's been talking in mostly. Um, about uh, supply chain disruptions issues. So this has really kind of rolled down to fill the gap higher that it had yesterday on a tombstone doji. Um, he's just looking now into 2023, and that didn't make a lot of people very happy. Um, we continue to wonder how uh, the market's going to adapt to the change in uh, U.S. policy for uh, tariffs on I'm going to say half of their stuff has at least some kind of tariff on it uh, not Micron itself but the boards it goes on whether it's NVIDIA or AMD uh, for video cards or memory that goes in a variety of other things uh, pretty heavy on that and the question is whether or not we just uh, hit demand or whether or not there's a bunch of supply to come out. When we come back, a few more things to look at, a little bit of history, uh, and look forward to your phone calls at 877 927-6648. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We return another action-packed episode of the Power Trading Hour. Uh, we're going to go back here and look at the indexes. Uh, as I said, we were looking at uh, 4,600. Very interesting to see that nobody wants any part of uh, risk lower, uh, whether it's uh, shorting or puts or anything we had kind of a blow off top uh and one of the highest readings ever in the uh american stock exchange trend the reason that's important is the uh amx is basically now down to a bunch of etfs that are all long uh etfs are mostly long and uh you see the extremes there um much easier than you do in many others and we had uh, a pretty historic uh, pop to the upside which suggested that just about everybody uh, that wanted to be long was long and very few people thought that they could short the market and that's generally when you get some kind of a pullback uh, anyway we're going to continue to keep an eye on it uh, I think on a long-term scale uh, we're headed much much lower for a variety of reasons uh, but uh, a lot of policy decisions have led to where we're at today and uh, kind of the butterfly effect. You never really, th not anybody really thought that Archduke, uh, or, uh, I can't even say it, Archduke, uh, Duke, Duke, Ferdinand uh, being shot and uh, would uh, lead to World War One. We've had kind of a, a domino effect that started a couple of years ago. And I can I can pretty much draw the lines uh, from the beginning to where we're at now. Um, and they're all just going to be, uh, I think, uh, compounding since there's not a real desire to change our trajectory, uh, at least here in the United States. And for the most part, I don't think in the Western democracies we're we're headed toward that iceberg and no one wants to slow down. Uh, even though they can see it, they know it's there, they're just going to pretend it's not. So I continue to think we're going to have bigger problems, and probably those bigger problems f f maybe through the first quarter of next year. 
Uh, and they're not just a little higher interest rates or that. I think it's just the compounding of many things, but it started uh, with uh, higher fuel prices that now feeds into everything else. And uh, that higher fuel prices f uh, funds uh, people like Putin who want to use their uh, money for evil. Uh, other uh, people that dislike us are going to do the same thing. Uh, and uh, so I'm fairly pessimistic about the market uh, over the last, well, maybe over probably into the first quarter of 2023 as uh, we continue to see things like uh, uh, Chewy and others uh, have problems with supply disruption. I don't think it's going to be enough just to have a company, a couple of companies doing very well. Um, MSFT. Um, MSFT. We'll check in on the usual suspects. Uh, yesterday, we had eh, kind of lighter volume than we probably should have. You needed about 46 million shares in Microsoft. Uh, you ended up with about 30 million shares. Uh, today, it tried to get just a tad higher. You only got about 15 million shares. So there's a lot of hang time out here on some of these bigger names. Uh, same thing with uh, Apple. Uh, to to With, uh, to, 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 uh, yeah, 100 million shares. Yeah, what is it? 100 million shares yesterday. Uh, that's going into the 153 million share high that we had uh, going back in January 4th. So this one had a little bit more juice on the way up, but I think it's kind of at the top of its trading range. Could it get up to 182? It could, uh, but the rest of the market looks like it's going to uh, have some problems with uh, with uh, uh, the rest just not being able to carry on with it. Let's take a quick look at some of the other ones of the most traded out here, and that is Amazon. Uh, to okay. You got kind of the makings of a high here in Amazon. Um, the biggest problem you really had was you really wanted to break out uh, two days ago with some volume. You had about 3 million shares into a 3.5 million share high. Yesterday you had 3.3 million, so you were almost there, but you're now kind of coming back in here. Any uh, big uh, uh, close below 32.76 on Amazon would be kind of uh, not good. Uh, the biggest problem I see with these companies is a lot of uh, wrangling about changing the tax structure and the way these companies work and also going after them for antitrust. Uh, those things are continuing uh, to uh, uh, percolate higher in the courts and move on. Uh, Facebook uh, lost a, a big part of uh, a lawsuit either yesterday or today. I saw the news today. And uh, they've got a price-fixing thing that uh, could go criminal. Uh, right now, it's a civil issue, uh, but you might uh, turn over a lot of rocks on them lying, uh, and especially since they did it across state lines and uh, used uh, electronic means to do it. There's the old standby for the FBI. It's always wire fraud. And if you look at the definition of it, just about anybody can be charged with it and probably convicted. It's one of the easiest things uh, to go after somebody. But I would not be surprised uh, if you find the right prosecutor outside of California or, or the West Coast. Uh, and these are being brought in other places and jurisdictions that are a little bit more friendly. Um, Mark Zuckerberg could probably go out and kill somebody and they wouldn't do anything on the west coast the judges know where their uh bread uh, their bread is buttered but uh the rest of the united states not so lucky in some of these cases that are percolating through um there's a lot of guilt uh, and why i've always talked about facebook or metamucil uh, as an evil company 
I think there's a lot more that they're going to see. Talking about companies uh, probably not uh, operating in their best interest, uh, Walt Disney was up a little higher yesterday, catching a lot of flack today. We'll see if they can hold up. Um, a lot of talk about uh, them using slave uh, or near slave child labor uh, in Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Um, you get involved in throwing mud and some of it's going to get back on you. That's kind of what Disney has done here. I'm not real um, optimistic on Disney. Uh, their move to streaming is problematic just like it is on Netflix. We'll be back in a fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, let me save this. I was working on it during the break. I need to get that out. There we go. We'll get back to that, and we'll check into the market. Already in progress, right at 4600 on the S&P cash. Nobody thinks this market can go lower. Or let me put it that way, not nobody. Few people think it can go lower. No one wants to pay up for any kind of puts. Um, so very interesting. 
uh, generally this is where you have uh, a big move so probably before the end of the day and that means that uh, they're gonna have to depend on whether or not they want to uh, double down on what I think is probably very close to a, a very long term high in the market where we're gonna be uh, sellers for a while instead of buyers although you will continue to have sharp moves higher okay uh to, to in the inbox here we've got a question uh on gold gld well you went right into the first gap you bounced unfortunately the volume is pretty poor today in the gld but you know that's not uncommon um, especially when everybody is euphoric in the market uh, going higher as they are right now. Um, you did fill that gap. Uh, you did it with uh, about the same volume, um, but uh, just more of a consolidation right now. I don't think it's the end of the world uh, that you have light volume. You could just go sideways, but uh, if you're waiting for the big move, it's probably going to be, oh, I don't want to do that what I want to I want to do uh, displace moving average you probably want to buy uh, the next move higher and that is above the nine-day moving average so you know you get uh, to Friday and it's uh, to, to see tomorrow would be what tomorrow would be 181 82 and it's over that uh, then you may be off to the races the next day, 180.19, and the next day, uh, 179.53. So you're probably going to go along a little bit sideways, but uh, you break this next one, my guess is that you're going to go up and fill all three of those gaps. But uh, you may just have another couple of days to wait out there, but it looks a little bit better. Uh, although a lot of people would uh, like the reversal from yesterday, would have liked a little bit more of a follow through today. Okay, when we look at uh, market volumes out here, about 7.6, 7.7 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape. If you're new uh, to uh, the Power Trading Hour and you want a uh, link to that same volume that I look each day, it's split apart nine ways to Sunday and uh, one of the best volume sites out there. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, we looked at Microsoft, looked at Apple. We have not looked at in NVIDIA yet. A um, little softness in NVIDIA, I suspect, uh, on the comments from Micron, the whole, S, uh, the whole SMH sector, um, but uh, is there a real signal here? No, you haven't broke in the uptrend line whatsoever. So there's no signal yet to be had on it. On the SMHs, um, you are much closer on this one. Uh, but, uh, you know, you hit the gap down that had 8.3 million shares. You actually, the next day you had 11.7 .7 million shares. Uh, with about 7 million shares yesterday. Um, so you've gone back, you filled that gap up yesterday. So, you know, does it take a couple of days more for this thing to get moving? Um, yeah, maybe to the downside, but I suspect you're in a bigger trading range until we start seeing people like Micron start to uh, talk about uh, maybe some other issues out there. Uh, 877 Six six four eight. Uh, email me at path at tfnn dot com. Okay. Okay. What do we have here? Yeah. 
my email program keeps locking up here. I just rebooted the machine, and it kill, still keeps locking up. Not exactly sure why. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, okay. Uh, Ronald wants to look at the uh, AMD. See if we have anything else out here. Um, just like a lot of these, uh, we're kind of coming into this downtrend line. Um, so we want to keep a cool, uh, nice eye on that. Let's go ahead and draw it up here for you. And see. Okay. Yep, it's still there. You kind of have bounced above that downtrend line. But you really haven't picked up a lot of volume on this on AMD. Uh, you've got a higher volume low still at $100.08. And that one could still get retested. Uh, Energy is about the same on the way up and the way down. So you could just be in a bigger trading range. Again, no sign out here yet. Um, but uh, if you uh, bust below the 3x3 uh, three three or 9-day moving average, why the pause? I was busy playing with my email uh, and trying to get it unlocked so something, everything else would work. Because literally, the my email client, when it locks up, literally locks up the entire machine. Okay. ARQQ. Okay. GLD. Question about PLTR. Had a nice bounce off the lows, and of course, uh, probably the best thing uh, that you found out was that uh, Kathy Wood was out of uh, this stock, and since then it's gone up 40%. But uh, yeah, you're probably on the easy part of this. The last kind of ledge out here, let's go back and look at this, uh, turn those off. Um, you're basically back uh, to this level at about 14 and a half. Uh, that is resistance for this. Again, no sell sign on this yet. Uh, a little oversold probably for selling. Uh, now back up, but uh, you're not really seeing a lot of juice in this. Probably wanted 58 million at 22. We'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. 
Trade CHAU or CHAD Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Turn uh, streaming continues to look questionable, mostly because of the uh, cost uh, increases uh, for production in Hollywood, um, fighting for actors and scripts and production facilities, as we've talked about. You did get kind of a bounce off of Netflix, but really this thing's done nothing but go sideways and a fairly minor pop out here off the highs um you know you've got that high volume low out here at 351 you did test it on lighter volume but man you really didn't get that much more um after this thing started going sideways so uh, i'm wondering if that isn't a fairly good sign of uh distribution or accumulation but uh Generally, when you're at lows and it just goes sideways, it's accumulation at highs, it's distribution. But, uh, you know, you had some decent volume yesterday, not so much volume on a little bit of a pullback here. But uh, it, I am nervous. Question about the TLT from Sandra. Uh, to, to, yeah, you know, you, as we said, you got a lighter volume test of the previous low. Um, you're trying to get back into that line. Uh, there's a lot of discussion whether or not the Fed is adding or not adding. But according to what they've said, they are not going to be adding. And the question is, this is going to be the first month uh, that fund buying does not have an additional 30 to $40 billion unless they've lied to us. It wouldn't be the first time that they've told us one thing and done another. But... Uh, you know what? I, you do hear a lot of people talking about them coming out and defending the Fed, defending the bond overnight. But uh, other than a little bounce uh, and anemic at that, uh, yesterday you had 19 million shares in the TLT uh, on a sideways day. Today, trying to push a little higher on 10 and a half million shares. And uh you know, you had this big day out here on the 18th with 55 million shares. So that's kind of set this thing uh, on the test of the low, but not really much of a move higher. I continue to think that you're looking at 122. Uh, other things that uh, I've just seen and make me start to think that the market, uh, not so much just the market, but the economy in general, uh, is starting to wane is the amount of boats and airplanes for sale. The In the last two weeks, we've seen a absolute skyrocket uh, in boats uh, for sale across the country. And this is about uh, twice that we the, the national average uh, over the last three or four years, and all the boat sales have been good. Maybe you could chalk up 10% uh, of that to just more boats being out there to be sold, more people changing hands. But uh, about 100% uh, more boats for sale than the national average over the last few years in March. And that's generally the best time to be selling a, a boat because uh, not everybody has the perfect weather of southern Florida or uh, 
the Gold Coast, or God's country, as I call it over here in Tampa, but uh, a bunch of them um, seeing some similar things in uh, both airplanes, but not to the same extent, and RVs. Now, RVs could probably be chalked up more to uh, the uh, fuel prices, maybe. But uh, a lot of this stuff people were buying over the last couple of years and even last year uh, with uh, rebate checks being used for some of these stuff, people are maybe looking at the other way. So uh, generally, you get a little bit of move in the housing uh, market. Then you get to the stuff that people really don't need, which is like boats and flash cars, planes, other things like that. But very interesting to see that trend in the last few weeks and just how many, especially uh, when I was talking to a, a boat guy uh, a couple of days ago, just how many of these boats that are kind of the introductory level boats, they're not the ones that are uh, built at any cost, at, you know, the, the owner probably paid cash for anyway. These are $100,000, $200,000 boats that people bought with maybe $10,000 down, probably underwater. Maybe they're worth $150,000 or $100,000. So they may be twenty dollars or $30,000 underwater already. Um, private, yeah, too expensive hobbies, but I'm starting to see that weakness. Uh, can I look at uh, BC? And uh, sorry, uh, in the den, if I wasn't looking at your comments as much as I had, I thought everything was stuck. And it was just that pesky uh, email client that I have that when it locks up, it literally locks up just about everything in the uh, on the uh, computer, uh, except uh, charts and uh, Discord. Who knows why? But certainly. Uh, Brunswick, B.C. Okay. Uh, I guess the reason to look at Brunswick is their um, uh, their uh, foothold in the uh, boating industry. I guess that's the reason we're asking about that. Um, yeah, you're back there. You had the, a low on about the same volume you had the low before. Uh, one of the other things that we didn't talk about is just how much these uh, boats and, and uh, uh, planes and other things are affected by interest rates. Uh, they tend to see, at least at the very beginning, almost double uh, that of uh, uh, cars. They tend to, everybody knows that when interest rates start going up, the first thing that you're going to start losing on are boats and cars, are boats and planes uh, and RVs and motorcycles and all those kind of, of uh, additional vehicles that probably people don't need. Uh, but would like to continue to have, but uh, they get a little worried, they get a little out of cash, they start thinking about it. Uh, anyway, yeah, you need another retest of the 81. Uh, actually, on this one, you need 79.23 for the low, or I'd take half that volume uh, at, at 80 bucks. But it still looks like a downward trend in the market. Uh, two, 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 okay. Uh, Okay, we've broken 4,600 on the S&P cash. Not a lot of acceleration or deceleration. Uh, 40, uh, yeah, 4,599. Uh, as I said, the volume wasn't all that exciting and still isn't. Uh, yesterday, the volume went incredibly light about 1 o'clock. Never really recovered the rest of the day. It was okay. But uh, we're continuing to see that with just about 8 billion shares today. And... You know, maybe this is just painting the tape and putting some lipstick on that pig. Uh, oh, boy. I, I think the, probably the worst part of uh, if you had weren't trading in 2000 were the absolute uh, fantastic ads uh, that you were starting to uh, see. And uh, one of them was that. Put some lipstick on that pig. Oh, let's put some lipstick on this pig. Yeah, great uh, broker ads back those days. Anyway, uh, we've uh, got some lipstick on the pig here for the end of the month. I we'll be back in a
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as we get ready to wrap up another excellent power trading hour and turn it over to Tom O'Brien following us, just a reminder, if you're hearing my dulcet tones... Uh, then it's a lot easier to join the Tiger's Den for a dollar a year. And you can type at me, and I can respond uh, in kind. And uh, it's non-problematic. I've already had a couple people ask me if they can use it on Macintoshes, and the answer is yes. Discord has a, uh, a uh, app for Discord. And, of course, you can always use uh, a browser. And if you want to have multiple windows up for the people that are in the den now, it is what I like to do, which is uh, I'm talking to my control room in one uh, browser, and uh, I'm in the app uh, looking at uh, the comments in the other. So you've got that. Anyway, we're off 35 points on the S&P cash. Let me update that just to make sure. Uh, to, yeah, 35. Uh, NASDAQ's off 156. Uh, Gold starting to pick up a little bit. We're up 20 bucks on it today. A break just a little bit higher, as I said earlier, would mean that you're probably off to the races and the consolidation is done on it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but uh, see if there's anything else I wanted to get to today. Um, question on CCJ. Uh, hard to be bearish on any kind of energy production. Um, this did not break above the 
three by three displaced moving average and kind of gave it up. I suspect that you're probably going to find that uh, even the energy stocks are probably going to have a little of its uh, luster uh, worn off of it, if I am correct. And this is some kind of long term selling opportunity in the market. But I see a lot of things uh, out there that just make me think that uh, there's a lot of distribution coming from the big guys of Wall Street uh, over the next year. And it won't all happen at once and we'll have up and down. But uh, over the long term, I'm kind of a bit bearish, at least into May. We'll be back tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can. Out when you have to.